Let's take you out of the coast right now. Boy, is it ever dumping at Newport. Look at the rain just wow. hammering on down there. And it, it keeps coming. It really does. It's been heavier here in northwest Oregon, but now the heaviest rain beds are beginning to sag on down to the south of it. And you can watch on Doppler radar. See, we've had these splotches of yellow. That's the really heavy rain. We're still in the darker green, which is also pretty heavy rain, moderate rain, but it's beginning to edge east of downtown now. So I think we're going to begin to get out of it. It's going to take some time because we've had this front just kind of hung up right over the region here, which is why it's rained so much here. And Portland's really been the focus of it. You can see it breaks up a little bit farther south, but the rainfall has been impressive. Portland leading the pack with nearly an inch of rain. Okay, just outdone by Troutdale now with over an inch of rain, 1.02 there. And look at the difference between Portland and McMinnville. Not even a quarter of an inch down there. That's because the heavy rain band was set up right over us and then just missing that part of Yamhill County. So it really has been impressive. We even have more rain than they've had in Astoria today where the rain really lightened up after the heavy band moved inland and then stalled out over us. So let's look at the rainfall, the impressive rainfall that we've had in October, which I didn't think I was going to say this month because the first 20 days of the month, zero, no rainfall at all. The last 11 days, 3.17 inches. That's super impressive. That's 92% of average for the month. So we really made up a lot of ground. Now going forward, we're looking at our wettest two months of the year on average. November averages 5.45 inches of rain outdone by December with 5.77 inches of rain. So we've got a lot of time to make that up in the first week of November is going to go a long way towards making up that October deficit. Overnight tonight, the rain will slacken, but still by morning, another 17 hundredths of an inch forecast as we look at our hour by hour rainfall amount. So it will continue from 11 o'clock to midnight, flatten out a little bit, then pick up from about 2 to 3 a.m. And then in the morning, it should back off. 31 up at Timberline. There's been about an inch of new snow. That looks like about an inch of new snow on the pavement there in the parking lot at Timberline. And we have a time lapse for you when the snow is coming down earlier this evening. It looked like that, so it's back to snow in the Cascades. Now the center of the cold air mass is still offshore. It's actually well offshore. It's out here, but it will be over us as we go through, especially tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night and Wednesday. So we're going to see more snowfall over the next 48 hours. I think a good eight inches, maybe 10 inches at the ski areas on Mount Hood as this pounds its way on in. So yes, good news for the mountains for sure. You can see the rainfall here. This is tomorrow morning. We've got some showers coming through, but it's much more scattered than what we have today. But this line in the afternoon that could end up being thunderstorms. We've got a pretty good chance of that and then more showers rolling through during the day on Wednesday, but it won't be the steady rain of today. Best chance for thunderstorms will be on the coast here. So we'll keep it on the radar for sure. Interesting on the long range pattern here. We dry it out on Thursday. That's the one dry day because we get some heavy rain blasting on in Friday. This is Friday night. The Beavers up in Seattle playing football against the Huskies. Going to be a wet affair of Husky Stadium. And then as we go through the week and into next week, this is interesting. Area of low pressure coming in just to our south could provide us an east wind and some lower snow levels. That's getting way ahead, but we'll keep a close eye on that. The pattern, though, will remain very active for us after that dry Thursday. Cold with wet weather in the valleys and snow up in the mountains. That's it right now. 49 degrees freezing level was 6400 feet, but it's on the way down. So the rain eases overnight. We'll have strong showers tomorrow, maybe a thunderstorm, some small hail possible. Look at the morning low on Thursday down to 38. That's the dry day, then rainy for Friday and the first weekend of November.